Greetings, everyone. So as usual, I got started today and forgot to start filming. So uh, just an update on what's been going on the last couple days. Matthew and I finished the electrical trench from where the meter box is going to be located all the way over to where uh, I had popped out the conduit from through the foundation uh, in the corner of the garage. So I'll show you what uh, we've done, and then I'm gonna get busy uh, putting in some sand on the bottom. I wanna try to have about three inches of sand at the bottom of the trench, and then we'll put the conduit in. So I'm not sure where I left off in the last trenching video, but over there is the big section of rock Kind of right where that caution tape ends. Uh, it was about 50 foot long vein going out and that's where I had broken the cylinder on the tractor. But basically once I got inside our fence hit line here, uh, it became pretty easy digging. Every once in a while I just hit a rock that we had a jackhammer a little bit, but for the most part uh, it went pretty quick. And we split the pillars on the port coach ray and then I'll go over on the other side and you can see what's going on over there. So one of the things that I found, it is very difficult to dig a perfectly straight trench with a backhoe on a tractor. It, it doesn't have enough weight and the, the tractor ends up moving and when you pull forward you're slightly off so my, my trench has like wiggles as it goes down. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing about being an 18 foot wide trench that, you know, the pipe will still lay straight. It'll just be a little closer on one side or, you know, vice versa. So we made it to the corner of the house and then I'll go down there and I'll show you what's going on. So yesterday, Matthew and I were able to find the um, conduit where it came out from under the foundation and poked out. Um, I had put a stake there, but in the process of construction, it got smashed and broken off and I tried to put it back where I thought it was. And so we had to do a little digging and originally I thought it was out this way more, but thankfully, good thing about having videos on YouTube, I was able to see that the three inch conduit, when it crossed past I have another conduit right there in the wall for future that just comes and stubs out um, about a foot above the main. Um, I was able to see that the conduit as it came out of the foundation framing was crossing in front of that other conduit. So then I started digging over a little farther and that's when I actually found the original uh, trench that I had made with the trencher to get that line in. So uh, I made one connection and then this is a three foot radius 90. But as you can see, I don't, didn't quite make it. So I have Carrie going to pick me up a 22 degree bend to add on the end of that so I can uh, get straight in the trench. And then we'll just start heading out. So I'm going to continue putting in sand. Um, I've made it up to there so far. And uh, I'll just keep putting that in. And then once Carrie gets here, we'll get this piece cut off and everything glued in and at 22. And then I'll just start putting in the conduit like 20 feet at a time.
So at the end of the day, yesterday, uh, after Carrie got me that little small bend right there, because that allowed me to get going straight down the trench. And then we went all the way out beyond the fence. And let me take a walk down there. We ended up getting out beyond the, crossing the other end of the driveway to right here. And now we have to get down to where those two posts are. So what we're doing is we're putting two sections of pipe together before we put it in the hole. So that way we're putting 20 feet down at a time. And we'll show you that process. So one of the things we did was we got a couple of three inch rubber plumbing end caps and we're sticking that on the end when we drop it into trench in the trench. So then when I'm wiggling it around trying to get the glue on and whatnot, this end is not getting filled up with sand. So it's helping keep the inside of the conduit free of any debris. So in order to get the final length that I need in the trench, I'm going to put a five foot piece on the 24 inch radius elbow, kind of like that one there, uh, but it'll be on this side coming down the trench. And then I'll be able to get that uh, final measurement. So Carrie and I were able to finish the conduit got our radius bend going up and the other one stubbed up for where it's going to tie into the electrical panel for the solar and uh, all we need to do is get an inspection now all right all right one day closer to done that's right it, it was warm today not quite the face of the sun hot but it's close to it we want to thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one let's go to the lake oh that sounds good let's go bye <laughs>